Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Hero Fitness and Performance, Season 1, Episode 26. Uh, it is a beautiful morning here in Colorado. We got about four to six inches of snow last night and yesterday. Um, sun is rising. It's nice and cold, which is my favorite time to work out. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the workout today. Um, today we're going to have three main time block workouts uh, in the entirety of the workout. And then we're also going to have a prelude, a couple interludes, and a postlude that will be short time blocks as well. So everything will be time blocks in today's workout just to make things simple. That way I don't have to think, you don't have to think. I'll just show you the exercise and we go right through them, okay? Um, that said, the only equipment you're going to need today is a pair of dumbbells, probably something light to moderate weight uh, and things like this. And you'll need two of them for the most part uh, for everything that we're going to do today. All right. So that said, hopefully you're already a little bit sweaty. Uh, so we're ready to go. Um, I'm going to take you through a couple dynamic uh, movement prep exercises and stretches, and then we'll get rocking on today's workout. Okay. So let's start with those flamingos, pull the heel into the butt, stretch those quads out. I'm going to fling snow all over my mat just to make sure it gets down my shirt and down my pants so I freeze to death here. It's not that cold. It's probably about 28, 30 degrees. That's nothing, right? We worked out at 8 degrees before. I've gone running when it was 4 degrees. It's awesome. We love it. Okay, so after that knee hug, pull in nice and high, alternate legs. I'm planning to look like a snowman by the end of this workout, just covered in snow. And I forgot my snow pants, so that should make things fun. Nice and wet, cold workout today. All right, after those, lateral lunges, shifted side to side. I also didn't bring my waterproof gloves. Very smart, well thought out workout here for Tyler. All right, so when we're done with those, we're gonna do a reverse lunge. Reach up to the sky or the ceiling, okay? Push the hip forward, stretch out the hip flexor in the abs. Just alternate sides here as well. All right, so as we finish those, let's do a couple leg swings or kicks. Opposite foot to opposite hand. Try not to kick snow in my face. All right, so as you finish those up, couple back slaps. Warm up those chest and shoulders. All right, big arm circles forward. Big, arm circles backwards. All right, guys, so don't hate me for this. Every interlude today is gonna to be burpees, okay? And it's gonna be 90 seconds of burpees. So you're gonna go a minute and a half, burpees straight through, okay? Burpees can look one of two ways. The first one, chest goes to the ground, feet come underneath, we stand back up. That's with the push-up, without a push-up, arms are straight, feet just go back when we stand back up, okay? So this will be our prelude, our two interludes, and our postlude for today's workout. It will be 90 seconds of burpees, okay? So we're trying to fit in as many as we can. If you're already sweating, you're gonna break a sweat even more. Should be super fun, okay? Once we finish the burpees, we'll get on to the first main time block chunk of today's workout, okay? So here we go, guys, burpees. 90 seconds in two, one, go. There we go, first rep. Snow right down the pants. Okay, we're awake. Here we go. <laughs> it never fails, right? Ninety seconds, guys. Get everything nice and warm. Again, this is the first part of the workout that we're doing for today. So keep the tempo a little slower. Use it to get everything nice and warm, get that blood flow going. We're already half the half. <laughs> We're already past the halfway point. The cold's affecting my brain and my lips, apparently. The beard is doing nothing to keep my face warm.
Less than 30 seconds left, guys. Last 15, finishing strong. And rest. All right. First part of the workout's done. Prelude over, okay? I'm already looking like a snowman. So, our first circuit is gonna be an eight minute time block. We're gonna do a lateral lunge with shoulder raise, okay? So, I'm gonna grab my weight. Weight will be in the right hand. It means I'm gonna step with my left leg. Lateral lunge, shift my weight down and back. So I'm loading the glute. Knee's not coming in front of the toe. I'm sitting back on my heel and then I raise. Bring it back down, come back up would be one. That'll lunge, raise, push back up, two. So you're gonna go 10 on that side, switch hands and feet, 10 on the other side, okay? After that, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a curl. So, we did these kind of in the last episode, but we did them with two dumbbells, we're just gonna do one today. Reverse lunge back, curl at the bottom, and then stand back up would be one. Do it again, two, so forth. Go 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. It's an eight minute time block, okay? When we finish the eight minutes, we'll go back to another interlude, okay? So eight minutes, lateral lunge to shoulder raise, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then a reverse lunge, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side with the curl, okay? Eight minutes, let's start in. Two, one, go. Lateral lunge, raise, Push back is one. All right, we're going to 10 on the one side, 10 on the other side. Nice, smooth, steady, moving. Strong and steady, right? Focus on your technique, focus on your form, on those lateral lunges. Sit back on that heel, drive the hip out and back. 10 on one side, 10 the other side. I'm trying to make it easy. Everything in this circuit is 10. Okay, we're going to eight minutes. Awesome work so far, guys. I like to keep my thumb up on those shoulder raises, okay? Be a little easier on the shoulder that way. Back leg stays nice and straight. And we were loading that outside leg and holding it while we get into the movement. Same idea when we get to those lunges. We're gonna hold down at the bottom, our knee just barely off the ground, so those legs are working the whole time. Try to keep the outside hand off your leg if you can. If you need to put it here or you need to put your elbow down, that's fine, but we're trying to do it without any support, so all that weight's on the leg, core's nice and tight as well. All right, so now, reverse lunge to curls. We're doing 10 of those as well. Curling at the bottom of the lunge, okay? Yeah, weight's on the heel, sit back, so that my shin is as close to perpendicular to the ground as I can get. Good depth on the lunge. Once you finish both sides on the lunge, we we'll go back to those lateral ones. Get with the shoulder raise, all right? Nice, crisp, cool air out here. I love it. Yeah, try to keep the hand off your leg. You can put it on your hip if that helps. All right. You want those legs to be burning by now. goal is somewhere 
above two rounds, okay? That's what we're shooting for. Two rounds or as close to two rounds as we can get, all right? You guys are doing great. Hang in there. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> Love this winter wonderland out here. It's awesome. That sun rising just makes this beautiful reflection off the snow. I wish you guys could be out here working out with me, right? In this freezing cold, every one of you is probably like, ah, no way. That sounds terrible. Way too cold. I promise you, it feels amazing when you're out here heating up from the inside out. Doesn't get much better. You're past the halfway point, guys. Hang in there. Keep pushing. up guys right about three minutes left okay right about three minutes left I'm still a little congested so I congested so I apologize for the runny nose and the sniffles nothing like clearing yourself out though like working out in the snow <laughs> As we get close to the end of the circuit, make sure we even ourselves out on both sides. I'll remind you too as we get closer, okay? We want to make sure we get the same amount of reps on each side because we're always striving towards symmetry, right? Coming up on the last two minutes, just over two minutes left, so start thinking about how you're going to even yourself out Make sure we have the same number of reps on both sides. Doing great, guys. Keep it up. Just under 90 seconds left, okay? So when I get these lateral lunges, I'm gonna do two on the one side, and then two on the other side, just to make sure I'm even as I get closer, okay? So, make sure as you get close, we're taking steps to even ourselves out in this last minute, one minute left. Confuse my brain there, which side to do, right? <laughs> Pretty easy. Not much left in this head after football and falling down and crashing into things. Plus, I feel like being a parent zapped like 98% of your brain cells, right? <laughs> if it's not 98, it's pretty close. You guys are almost there, all right? Last 15 seconds or so, okay? And rest, okay. A little break for those of you that need it. You need to pause the video. By all means, go ahead and do that. Everybody else, first interlude, 
90 seconds of burpees, okay? Two, one, go, 90 seconds. Ninety seconds, guys. You got this. No big deal. Woo! Okay, snow's going up the belly. Waking me up. <laughs> Halfway there, guys. 45 more seconds. And rest. 90 seconds down. Snowman level one achieved. <laughs> All right. Again, need a little break. Pause the video. Everybody else, we're on to the next time block circuit, okay? So, you need both dumbbells for this. We're gonna do what's called a dumbbell squat clean and press, okay? So, break it down. It's kind of a bunch of moves tied into one. I hold the weights here, come down to just above my kneecap, hold the weights up. Okay, if you want to go down here, stand up and then curl, that's fine, okay? But it's here, bring them up, squat to press would be one, okay? So one more time, here, weights to shoulders, rest them on your shoulders, squat, press is one. You're gonna do 10, okay? When you're done with those, we have 10 Renegade rows. You guys remember these from the last episode? Here, push up, row, row, just one. You can do it on your knees. If you don't have weights that you're able to put on, do 10 push ups, 10 single arm rows each side, okay? After that, our last movement in this circuit is a single arm swing, so back is flat. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes turn out a little bit. Back's flat. Use the hip and leg power to bring the weight up to about shoulder level. I like the dumbbell, my palms be facing in towards my body, not down like this. This way we don't have to worry about hitting my knee or anything like this. It just kind of goes between the legs there nice and easy, okay? 10 one side, 10 the other side, okay? So this is a 12 minute time block. You've got 10 squat clean to press. You've got 10 renegade rows. You've got 10 single arm swings each side. 12 minutes, and then we'll get a break, okay? You are doing great so far. This is a tough workout, right? All right, so here we go. Squat, clean, and press for 10. Then Renegade Rose, then single arm swings in two, one, go. 12 minutes, okay? 12 minutes. Steady on that pace, guys. Once you finish the squat clean and press, you go right through those renegade rows. Remember, everything is 10. We're trying to shoot for four plus rounds on this circuit, okay? yourself accordingly. Anything above four is great, okay?
Those are tougher than they look. My gosh. All right. Big alarm swing. Here we go. Remember, everything is 10. Alright guys, one round is down for me in about 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so it gives you an idea of the pace. It's rest as needed, so if you need to catch your breath, catch it. If you need to grab a little water, grab it. If you're outside and you got snow, you want to rub some in your face, on the back of your neck to cool you down, do it, right? I'll wait till the end of the video to do that. working guys, keep it up. Ten, ten, ten. All right on everything. Ten squat clean presses, ten renegade rows, ten single arm swings. All right, keep it going. You're right about the four minute mark. You're already a third of the way there, all right? You guys are doing great. Stay consistent, stay strong. Rest when you need it, okay? Focus on your technique and your form, all right? And keep pushing. Renegade roads never seem to get any easier, do they? They just keep getting harder and harder. But everybody, keep it up. You're doing fantastic. We're coming up on the halfway point now. All right. We're right at five and a half minutes. So six and a half more minutes. Keep it up. Keep pushing. I know those shoulders are getting tired. Throwing that heart rate up. Just do what you can. Stay within your technique. All right. And keep pushing yourself. We're having fun now, right? You know I am. Out here, beautiful snow, gorgeous morning, sucking wind, <laughs> muscles on fire, lungs on fire. 
It's going to make that pie, the pumpkin cheesecake my wife is making, taste even better tomorrow on Thanksgiving, right? Oh yeah, you guys will get this after Thanksgiving. That's what I'm working for, is that cheesecake. I'm going to eat half of it. That sounds really good. What do you think? I think so. You gotta indulge yourself every once in a while, right? I'm, a, I'm so basic. Anything pumpkin, I'm all about it. <laughs> Especially cheesecake. Great guys, just over four minutes left, fantastic job. My wife made a blueberry pie last week for my birthday. It made it about two days. And along with a half gallon of vanilla ice cream, right? Oh my gosh, so good. Life's too short not to enjoy food like that, huh? right? A special treat. Treat yourself, right? You gotta treat yourself. You work hard, you earned it. Maybe it's not food, maybe it's something else. Here we go, guys. Coming up on the home stretch here. Fantastic job so far. about two and a half actually. Two and a half, we can do anything for that amount of time, right? No big deal. Except for Renegade Rose, I hate these things. Oh my gosh, things get harder and harder. guys keep it up just over a minute left just over a minute left A minute left, I got my four rounds in. Minimum champion! For those of you my Parks and Rex fans, right? That's the second Parks and Rex reference uh, in this workout. Andy Dwyer, gotta love him. One of the best characters ever created. <laughs> all right, guys. Final 30 seconds, all the way into the finish. 
those of you that have not seen Parks and Rec, what the hell's wrong with you? Get on Netflix. It's the only time you'll ever hear me endorse Netflix. Go watch it. It's like that and The Office are probably the only two shows that I watch. And rest. 12 minutes down, guys. All right, so we've got an interlude, okay, right now. So if you need a little break, pause the video of burpees, 90 seconds. Then we'll get on to the next part of the workout, and then we'll have a post loop of burpees, and then you're done. The end is inside, okay? 90 seconds burpees in two, one, go. Pushing guys, 30 seconds down. Last 30 seconds. Power it out. Woo, he's getting hard. The shoulders are toast. And rest. Oh man, okay, here we go. All right, our last circuit is an eight minute time block. The rep scheme is going to be 15, 10, five, okay? The 15, for beginners, body weight squats. Like this, okay? Intermediate and advanced, intermediate drops for 15, advanced, Dumbbell, go down, we're gonna jump like that, okay? For 15. After that, we have jackknives, 10 aside. All right, so on our back, beginner level, hands are behind us to support, legs are flat. Okay, we're gonna go in and out like this, all right? Everybody else, we're gonna try and go up on the tailbone and alternate sides for 10 each, okay? Five, beginner level, curtsy lunges, stepping, five aside. Advanced, split jump, five aside. Okay, so 15 squat jumps or squats, 10 jackknives each side, five split jumps each side. You gotta get those legs caught up, right? Eight minutes, two minutes burpees, and then you're done. Okay, here we go guys. Grab those dumbbells and get ready for those squats in two, one, go. 15 to start, okay? 15. Woo wee. This is gonna be a fun eight minutes. All right. Jack knives after that, 10 aside, and then split jumps or curtsy lunges, five each. Those abs working. Oh yeah. So enjoyable this workout, isn't it? We're having so much fun. We love it. I 
Ouch, legs. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouchie. You're doing great, guys. Remember, eight minutes, right? Powering through, pushing hard. This is the conditioning portion of the workout. Not that everything else we haven't done, we've done so far, hasn't been conditioning. <sighs> helping me stay nice and warm. Doing good. Two minutes down, a quarter of the way there. I'm only gonna get five times, four times worse than this. All right. I know you guys would miss my terrible dad joke if I didn't say it at least once. are still sore from the last two episodes. How are you feeling? Oh man, here we go. All right, kicking butt. Three minutes down, five more to go. Killing it, having fun the whole time. Jackknives, I guess. That's the halfway point, guys. Keep it up. Come on out. Come on out. Don't fail me now. We're having fun. So 15 squat jumps, four squats, 10 jackknives aside, five split jumps, or five curtsy lunges aside. Tearing it up, guys. Doing fantastic. Keep it going. About three minutes left. Three minutes left, guys. We got this. Hang in there. Body's on fire. It's all good. <laughs> Final two minutes, guys. Almost there. Two more minutes. Abs are the worst part for me. Uh, those have been sore for a week and a half now after those last episodes.
Showing the guys, less than 90 seconds left. You're almost there. Hang in there. I'm speaking more to myself than I am to you guys right now. Hang in there, Tyler. Hang in there, T. You got this. This last minute and a half, visualize everything that you're thankful for, right? Tomorrow for me is Thanksgiving. In the back of my mind, everything I'm grateful for, everything I'm thankful for. Ability to work out in this beautiful snow for one. Being able to feel the burn in my lungs, the burn in my legs means I'm healthy. I'm able to be out here. Thankful for the love and support of my family. No matter all the stupid decisions that I make in my life, they're always there for me. Right? So many things to be thankful and grateful for. Attitude of gratitude. Too blessed to be stressed, right? Sometimes having a good day, the difference between having a good day and a bad day, is just a little bit of perspective. Be thankful for your challenges. It's only gonna make you stronger. And rest. All right, guys. Final two minute or minute and a half coming up. Rest of it, or pause the video if you need to rest. We got our last 90 seconds of burpees for our final post loop. All right, last thing for the day. We are starting in two, one, go. 90 seconds. Here we go. Last thing for the day, guys. Attitude of gratitude, like I said. You're thankful for burpees. They're making you stronger, tougher, more resilient, physically, mentally, emotionally. I'm sure every time I say the word burpees, everybody feels like they want to vomit. Maybe some of you want to cry, right? Doing tough things, getting through tough things, reminds us that we can do tough things. When tough things come along, you think, I got this, no big deal. Everything I've done in my life so far has prepared me for this moment, and I'm ready to shine, right? Less than 30 left. And rest. Ah, let's take a face dive into the snow. Yeah, let you know you're alive, right? Face is on fire. I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and putting up with my silliness. Um, let's practice that attitude of gratitude. When you come up something that's hard, think about how it's going to benefit you in the long run, and put the perspective on things. You know, some things just suck and you just have to get through them. There's no positive or anything like that. But by doing things like this and doing hard things, doing your best to find a positive out of something that's negative, you're gonna help yourself get through these tough times. Especially with COVID going on, people not being able to see family members. I'm very thankful that I'm able to see my parents and my sisters. The first Thanksgiving we've all gotten together in over six years, We're very safe. Everybody's tested uh, and things like this. But uh, yeah, I'm incredibly thankful for that. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't miss out on that for the world. So think about what, what you're grateful for. Think about what you're thankful for and focus on it, right? It's gonna help turn your attitude around. Hope you stay positive. And even if you're going through a really, really tough time where there is no positive, just, you know that you can put your head down and barrel through it because you've done hard things in your life. And this is just preparing you for something bigger and greater, right? So thank you guys again. I'm off my soapbox, all right? I'm going to go play in the snow for a little bit and roll around. Everybody else, I hope you have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, weekend. Enjoy the time with your families if you're able and fortunate enough to have it. Soak in every moment. Turn off your phone. Turn off the TV. Who cares who wins the football game? 
there's no fans in the stands anyways, right? Interact, enjoy. If you're relegated to FaceTime or Zoom or whatever, make the most of that time and give those people the 100% focus that they deserve because you deserve the same in return, all right? Have a great holiday. Thank you guys again. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you episode 27. All right? See you then.